we have some major news. Oh man, uh... <laughs> So we just had Worlds this weekend and an announcement was dropped at the end of day two. Some uh, very, very major, major updates in my opinion. Uh, really like, really just like one major. Uh, there's some other cool stuff going on and we'll go over that too. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, this is related to the uh, new uh, Memorial Pack and uh, I'm pretty hyped and let's, it's not dilly dally, let's go into this, let's uh, oh man, okay. These are just screenshots from the actual announcement. If you want to, and I'd highly recommend it, go and check out Worlds. I'll have a link to uh, the YouTube channel, go to their live tab and you can actually see the VODs for the World Grand Prix. Definitely go and check out that. If you don't want to sit through the actual games, go to day two and la like the last, I, I think it was like 15 minutes or something like that, I can't remember. But here's the announcement. Hero Cluster, 5th Boost Pack, uh, you know, card previews at the World Grand Prix. Makes sense. It's a good place to go and show them off. I'm not gonna linger on them. If you go into the discords, or if you go to the actual announcement at the end of the uh, day 2 video, you can go and uh, check those out. I'd highly recommend hopping into the discord because there's a bunch of discussion around the cards and you can kind of get like a bare grasp of uh, what they're doing and stuff here. Granted, we only have these cards to go off of so far. We have like a few other cards, but like as far as like what's going on here, we're not 100% sure. We have ideas and stuff. We'll see where things go, yeah. Very cool artwork, new characters, happy about that. Here's the next like major, major part that I'm hype about and this is the reason why I'm making this video kind of weird like this of a bunch of like just screenshots. So I want to linger on this nice and hard. Each Memoria Collection 2 pack includes fixed six cards. Those five cards that were shown off in the uh, Memoria Collection 2 spoiler video, uh, those weren't random, those were fixed. And also, Mariabella Sincere Engineer that was attached to Heart to Heart Talk, which got banned because of Heart to Heart Talk, well Mariabella Sincere Engineer is getting her own Resonator card, so that's adorable. Nice full art, you got Machina in the back there, very cute, very cute, very happy about that. Not like a major card, it's probably not gonna, you know, see a ton of competitive play, but it's very cool, like, either way. Now, let's, let's talk about this. The Origin of the Seven Lands, Mariabella Sincere Engineer, Dark Alice Rabbit Princess, Moonshade getting a new border, it's the new style of the Magic Stone border, very cool, Garion, and then also Yggdrasil that can search out Regalia, which these contracts happen to be Regalia, so very cool reprint. So those six cards, every booster box for Clash of the Star Trees is going to get these six cards and also one random card, which one of them we know is a contract for Aristella, the uh, Excalibur Chrono Gear. Now, I don't even care about the bonus cards, I'm gonna be honest. Like, sure, another Aristotle contract, that's cool. If they throw a fair spell in there, that's awesome. Throw a Lorite in there, that's awesome. Throw a uh, Witch of the Fallen Kingdom in there, that's awesome. That's just like bonus value. L let me, let me like break this down for you as far as like how much value we're getting just based on those six cards in the Memoria pack. Origin of Seven Lands, $14 at its cheapest printing. Moonshade, $5 at its cheapest printing. Yggdrasil, Heroic Spirit of the World Tree, about $5 at its cheapest printing. Garion, $21 at its cheapest printing. Dark Alice Rabbit Princess, which funny enough, the promo that is seeing a reprint in the Memoria pack but non-foil, uh, that is actually the cheapest Dark Alice Rabbit Princess. It's at $80 right now on TCG Player. That is expensive. And like the booster box for the set, like it's like ranging from like, you know, depending on where you buy from like 90 to like 100 ish dollars. So just like from those five cards, and I can't really put a price on Mary Bell Sincere Engineer because it, this is its first printing, I guess you could say. But just putting a price on those, $125 just on those cards alone. Like, holy shit that is insane the reprint value like it's every booster box so every booster box you're getting $125 worth of reprints. Now, granted, these are non-foil, these aren't the original printing, but for like a more casual player that is like hesitant to get into the competitive scene, this is a fantastic time to get those staple cards. Is Dark Alice a card that you need in every deck? No, but it is a card that you should consider if you're running light. Moonshade, I would argue that a lot of decks run Moonshade, it is easier to get Moonshade, so you're not really like buying these boxes for the Moonshades. Garion, I would say a $20 
$30 at the low end, I think it's kind of worth it. Just from like the cheapest Garion and the cheapest Dark Alice, like just that alone, that's $100. If you are a player that is like, oh man, I can never get my hands on Dark Alice, consider, I'm not saying like, go ahead and drop money on this, but this might be the best time for any like new players or even returning players to actually buy into the game. This is gonna sound weird. Usually I'm like, oh yeah, I should go for a pre-release kit, but this Memoria pack is fire. It is fucking fire. Like, fuck. If Found Fest wasn't around the corner and these other products weren't also around the corner, I would honestly consider buying another booster box just for the Memoria pack. It's, it's just so good. The value there is just... <laughs> Man, I, it's kind of funky. Okay, so here, here's the funky thing. These are going to be non-foil versions. They're going to be more abundant. They're not going to be as valuable as the original printings. But from a competitive standpoint, those are official cards. You can run them in your deck. I highly recommend, like, considering it. If you're on the fence about buying this set, this is, like, I'm making this video purely for this announcement right here, that those six cards are fixed per pack. Like... I can't stress it, like, oh my god, it's such a good value. It's $125 in reprint value right there, like, oh, I, <sighs> and Mary Bell since you're engineer, you can't, you can't put a price on her, it's, it's, yeah, you can't put a price on her. I, like, seriously consider this, oh my god. <sighs> It's just so good. It's just so good. I don't want to linger on this. We're, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. So yeah, Clash of the Star Trees is coming out in August. Like, really consider getting those pre-orders in or picking up a box. Like, it's just such good value. Okay, next major announcement. Hero Cluster 6 set will be Judgment of the Rogue Planet. Yeah, we're in Hero Cluster for another set. Bear with me here. Bear with me. Yeah, we were all kind of like, oh, 100 years hero set, uh, you know, Rick and Mori jokes, you know. Based on the name, Judgment of the Rogue Planet, I want to assume that we're going to see Judgment as a mechanic again. Don't get me wrong, contracts are cool and stuff. Order was cool. Judgment hasn't been a thing for like two years. So, you know, throw it a bone. Cool artwork. I don't know if this is a ruler. I can't remember what they said in the announcement video. It might be one of the rulers. The, I'm assuming, flip side of this is this piece. Piece of artwork i'm assuming just based on you know how they showed it off so this might be like the big bad for the set or something i'm not entirely sure we also had some beautiful artwork shown off i don't know if this is going to be an extension roll of artwork or if it's just going to be i don't know like a different card and stuff but fantastic artwork we have nyar the thotep up front we have Rhea. there's gil on the right there's ayu on the left there's a bit of a debate as far as who is in the back i'll zoom in a little bit while editing but uh, we were, we were saying like maybe Charlotte, maybe Alice, maybe Faria. It's blonde hair and there's only like so many. So people are saying maybe Shion, but Shion has more like silver hair and I feel like this more blonde. I would be more inclined to think that it is Charlotte. Either Charlotte or Alice. I don't think it's a Faria. I feel like it's gotta be Charlotte or Alice. It actually might be a blue bow, so it might be Alice. One of those two. That's, that's where I'm vibing. That's where I'm vibing. Okay. In this set it's going to have a contract pack so each of those boxes will have another heroes contract pack so these are the uh, world's uh, promos so these will be like non-foil versions for everyone that wasn't able to make it to worlds yo and uh, some of the cards will have alternative illustrations big thing here is divine lightning and memory of worlds getting another reprint very key very happy about that judgment of the rogue plan is coming out in November really looking forward to picking that up after found Fest, and you can see the little hero hero cluster uh, cute another major announcement was saying called extra packs masterpiece one was announced and it's called pilgrim memories it's going to have rulers released in grim cluster so this might be the wanderer reprint set that we've been wanting it might be which hopefully will have other reprints that set will have new support cards for the old rulers very happy about that alternative art very cool that's coming out uh, for so on New Year's so pre-orders will probably come out like maybe like November maybe October something like that I'm really hoping that this is like a Vengolf kind of thing where it's like a just a fixed set and not like booster packs if it is booster packs I hope it's gonna be like good for like drafts and sealed games but yeah and then another major announcement we're finally gonna be off your cluster new cluster starts early 2024 so that's gonna be probably like around the February set release so really happy about that Hero Cluster has been 
cool and all, but it's, I feel like it's overstayed its welcome. Just like a little bit, very cool cards, very cool rulers, but like six sets, I feel like that's a bit much. Five sets, I was like, all right, cool, neat. Six was definitely pushing it. If we went for a seventh, I would assume they were just memeing, but yeah. No, this was a, this was a huge announcement. I kind of wish I had like recorded myself reacting to it and stuff because I, my hype was just like through the roof. The Memoria packs are going to have a fixed six cards that are just straight up fire that is worth $125 in reprint value like just so good so good definitely consider picking up the new set coming out in august it's clash of the star trees i'm happy i got my pre-orders in it's a weird time that booster boxes look more appealing than pre-release kits but that's just how it is right now <laughs> who knows maybe there'll be some cards in the set that just like trump all of these reprints but <laughs> two two cards very expensive very meta relevant this is a fire reprint pack like oh my god like wow but yeah uh let me know what you think about these announcements i hope that anyone that might have missed worlds or just anyone that didn't stick around to see the announcement video at the end this was like helpful for you but yeah that'll be it for the video have a good night thanks for watching see you in the next one